This is Africa you didn't know. While Europe was still using bronze, East Africa had mastered high-temperature iron smelting. 2,500 years ago, Uganda and Tanzania were producing iron on an industrial scale with precision that rivaled anything in the ancient world. Massive clay furnaces reaching 1,200 degrees Celsius. Forced air bellows controlling oxygen and carbon content. They weren't just melting iron. They were manipulating its molecular structure to create tools superior to bronze. The ore was selected for purity. Charcoal measured for exact heat. Slag removed with timing that determined quality. This was science refined over generations. Hundreds of furnace sites prove this was widespread mastery. Iron tools, weapons, and farm equipment that transformed entire societies. The Great Lakes weren't learning from Europe. They were centuries ahead. Tanzania's bloomery furnaces match Mediterranean sophistication, but they're older. Now here's why this matters today. If our ancestors mastered molecular metallurgy without textbooks or universities, what's stopping us now? The same innovation that controlled 1,200 degree fires is in our DNA. We're not victims of a lost past. We're inheritors of builders and engineers. Our ancestors didn't wait for permission to create. They saw problems and forged solutions. From tech hubs in Lagos to renewable energy in Rwanda, that same genius is rising. The question isn't what they took. It's what are we building right now? Because if we did it once, we'll do it again. This is the dossier. One truth a day until our history stands tall again. Follow the dossier.